old thing. Same place, different day. I miss the good old days. Hanging out with my hero, Sonic. <sighs> Chasing bad guys. And blowing them away. <laughs> but now he's gone. And there's nothing left to do. But shop till I drop. There was always something fun to do with Sonic around. I really miss him. Hey, what's going on here? Is there an eclipse today or what? Nobody forecast a storm or anything. Eggman, can it be? What's that? Ah! Watch it! Watch it! Ow! You should watch where you're going, buddy! Hey, are you all right? You look kind of hurt. one of Eggman's robots, huh? He must have captured you, and somehow you got away, right? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. Hello, guys, and welcome to TGN, the game near the shore. I talk about our play games, and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Knuckles' story. And it was a pretty satisfying ending. And in this episode, we're currently, just speaking in terms of character stories, halfway through the game already. We're only on episode 13, so my guess is episode 26 might be the finale. Although it might be a bit earlier, considering that the latter three stories are much shorter than the first three stories. Another interesting thing that I'd like to note is that as you've seen right now, Amy has a hammer, which not only works as a weapon against enemies, but also allows her to jump extremely high when she's running at full speeds. You just press the B button, and she'll launch herself into the air. Anyways, our next objective right now is to head on over to Casinopolis to see someone. A few things that I love about that cutscene is one, that what from Sonic, because it's just so weird and high pitched and unexpected. Second of all, I love how Amy breaks the fourth wall, although I guess Sonic does that in the Genesis games whenever you put down the controller for too long. 
Third of all, I love how Sonic doesn't just run past Amy. He runs on the sidewalk all the way around and then over here and that's how he escapes from Amy. No trains are currently in service. I mean, I guess you're still a law-abiding citizen, but it doesn't really make sense because there's no, like, cars here to get hit by, so it's not really jaywalking if you go across from one sidewalk to the other. So you could see that Amy's story, where Sonic Tails and Knuckles' story started at the very beginning, Amy's story is smack dab in the middle of the story, right after Sonic and Tails crashed their planes in, or crashed their plane in Sonic, er, in Sky Chase Act 1. I can't talk today for some reason. So our first stage, Twinkle Park, shows us our objective is to evade Zero and grab the balloon. Zero will be chasing after you at all times, so you gotta be on the move. Like right there, he just jumped out of the pool over there. And the thing about Amy is that she is incredibly sluggish. Just compared to Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, she is just super slow. Even if with these speed shoes, she's slower than the other three characters. But anyways, we just went around, pressed a bunch of buttons, and got to open this door. Music in here is weirdly calming. Got this mirror room with Zero chasing after us, and it's cool to look in the mirrors as... We see, like, a bunch of versions of us running from a bunch of versions of Zero. Zero really isn't that important to the plot in the other three stories. I'm pretty sure the only time we saw Zero in Sonic's story was that the one time where we saw Amy, and then also when he kidnaps her later. But. Whenever I'm running through that section, I always forget which Amy I'm controlling, and so I get confused for a second at which directions I have to push. I want to run over there, because as you can see in the mirror, there's a pit over there. You want to run away from that as well, and just climb up the stairs. It's weird, because even though Amy's levels are the most sluggish since, since she's so slow, they're also the most fast-paced, considering the fact that you have to constantly be on the move, or, F, or else Zero will go after you. Get that checkpoint, and I think the ending is coming up pretty soon. I always like to jump over the fence, and then climb up the slope. She's already so slow, but now we can't use her hammer to launch her up. And yeah, that's the end of the stage. You end it by grabbing onto this balloon for some reason. I'm free! Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, sorry, I was looking at my phone and I forgot that there wasn't a cutscene. We have to actually exit Twinkle Park and then there's a cutscene. Must have gotten 
Now, calm down. Data. You have feelings for something you know nothing about. Illogical. I pity you. Love is not part of your programming. You are missing something good. Hey, Birdie! Now we see why Amy trusted Gamma during during when she appeared. So this is an interesting one. This game. You jump to start it. And it's basically whack-a-mole. You gotta whack Sonic and not whack Eggman, or else you'll lose points. The thing about this is, sometimes it can be really unfair when it comes to how long the little guys are out. Oh, come on, I didn't hit that. So 
with that win, you get the Warrior Feather. Behold the Warrior Feather. Now you can do the Spin Hammer Attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. Now we can do this. It doesn't really have a practical purpose in the game, but it's fun to have. Also, Amy gets really dizzy after if you do it for a while. Just like Takal says, we have to go through the hot shelter. And to get to the hot shelter, we have to press this button over here with our hammer and then just walk inside. Taking the elevator down. This is one which I don't remember if we've done this level in other stories before this point. I'm pretty sure we haven't. First, you want to grab this part right here. And turn the key to the left to open the door. The call's just doing my job for me. Yeah, you gotta grab onto the spinny thing and spin it until the door opens. I personally think my descriptions, while not the most helpful, are much more fun. Oh, there's Zero busting out of the glass. I don't know why Takal said keep your balance or else you'll fall off. I guess that, but I don't know if that's really a balance thing. Zero will try to jump at you while you're on the ladder. Just ignore him. I want to use the... I want to jump and use your hammer in order to destroy those monkey robots. I forget the exact name. I think it's... The, they're called Coconuts? Which I think is a funny name. It's a bit far away from the mic again. Hopefully this is better. Or maybe it sounds worse. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how to properly do stuff with my microphone like four years later. Like that. Then I have to walk slow. Imagine if you thought that Amy was slow before, in water she is just incredibly slow. Imagine how slow it would be to have Amy I'll be right back. Imagine how slow it would be for Amy to walk in water up a hill. Because she's slow when doing all three things. Walking, being in water, and going up a hill, so... This is a weird one. I think... Where does it say that? Anyways, do what she says, turn left one, and then right three. And then the door opens. I, I heard you to call. <laughs> Since we're not as fast as we are with the other characters, it's a lot harder to avoid to call when you're going into places. Cause I don't know if that's if that makes any sense, but you're, what you're supposed to do here is push the stairs. But what I like to do is come on, it's just get to the top, and then jump into the vent. Something fun you can do next time you play th through this game. Now we're in the restrooms. I've never- Ah! That actually made me jump for a sec. I've never played Half-Life, but for some reason those bathrooms reminded me of bathrooms that would be in Half-Life. I don't know why. You can whack Zero with your hammer, by the way, so... Just in case he's being super annoying, then you could do that. Which he is pretty annoying, by the way. Ah, I missed that door right up there. Don't worry though, if you miss it, you just have to do a bit of extra platforming. I'm gonna press this button, which turns the gears the opposite direction. That allows you to get over here to the next checkpoint. I don't know why, but this checkpoint just made me think. I've recently been playing through Crash 1. Oh, Crash Bandicoot 1. I've been playing through the remake. And it's a very hard game. I've never played it before. And, like, I knew, I knew people said it was hard, but... 
it's pretty hard. I don't know if I'd say it was, it was the dark. It's the Dark Souls of platformers, but it's certainly pretty tough. I just got past the second boss, uh, Ripper Roo, I believe is his name. Which, great name, by the way. You know, maybe I'll let's play that game sometime in the future if I figure out how to connect my PS4 to my Elgato. Yeah, be careful not to fall off there. Press that button. That turns the platform over here and allows us to open these doors, which lead closer to the end of the level. We're not... Well, we're not close yet. We've still got a lot to go. High zero. That's a... That's not supposed to happen. What is with this series and clipping through... Clipping through stairs? Just... No zero is supposed to be menacing, but he's just making this extremely tedious. Trying to do the... Trying to do the hammer jump right here. Let me see if I can get it. I guess I just can't. Thanks, to call. I'm sorry if I seem bitter in this episode. I just realized that I'm sounding more sarcastic. It's just, this story is definitely, while it's much, much shorter than the previous stories, it's definitely a bit more tedious because Tikal's always in your way instead of off to the side. And you have to listen to her tell you obvious stuff. Or I guess maybe it's not obvious to a first time player, but you know, I've played this a thousand times, which obviously an exaggeration. And I guess that's a fault more with me that I've played this, that I've been playing this a bunch of times than with the game, but. Anyways, we input all of the weird blocks. Zero appears on the screen. And they busts out of it. That's actually a really cool part of this level. Yeah, the uh, this level's pretty linear when it comes to progression. Like, I guess we've got a couple diverging paths, but... Other than that, there's not too much. That was a really helpful section underneath the stairs. Got speed shoes, which don't really help. We've also got invincibility and a bubble. Though the invincibility is going to wear off in just a second. And we lost the bubble. Got that. Using Amy's hammer is a lot easier if you jump. I feel like that's something I should start doing is jumping before using my hammer. Maybe that'll help me gain speed a lot quicker. It makes sense in my head alright. Got the purple cube. And the orange one should be around here somewhere. Or did I already put it in? Oh, nope, there's the orange one. Got the orange boy. Now I've got to wait for that to open. I don't know why the logo on that door was squished. I mean, the logo on this door is fine, but... Oh, there's the balloon. <sighs> I'm free. Dang, that took eight minutes.
Ciao. Don't be afraid. You're safe with me. was that? I wonder if I'm dreaming. Oh my! I need to get out of this place! So you'll notice that all of those sections with Tikal are in the wrong order. We're seeing them at different points than we should actually see them. Which is weird because I'm playing this how it probably should be played is I start with Sonic Story, and then, you know, once I finish that, I go to Tails and then Knuckles and so on and so forth. But someone actually, in the comments of a video, outlined the proper order to so play it in order to get all of those T-Call scenes in the right order. You want to start playing as Sonic, and by the way, uh, this is only if you've played the game already once. Uh, so if you're ever replaying Sonic Adventure and want to spice things up, here's how to do it. Here's, I guess I'll call this T-Call order. Play as Sonic until you unlock Tails. Play through Tails' story. Play through Knuckles until you get the first T-Call uh, scene. Like Play through Knuckles until you get the first T-Call scene outside of Casinopolis. Then play through as Amy. And then play through as E-102 Omega. Or, or Gamma, sorry. Omega's a different robot. Then play through Big's story, then play through the rest of Knuckles' story, then finish off with Sonic's story. So, pretty interesting. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and check and check out what there's ne what next there is to do. Sorry if I keep pausing whenever they do voice lines. It's just they're kind of loud in my headphones, and so it's hard to talk over them because then my brain starts focusing on the voice line. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue Amy's story. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!